In this tutorial, we will be covering the use of paths. So, whenever you download the AFNI or FSL libraries, usually you see in the installation instructions something about setting the path. Now, what a path is, is it's a pointer to a certain directory where specific commands or executables, in other words, they're also called binaries, are located. All right? So, if I just type in echo and then dollar sign uppercase path, uh, path in all uppercase is the variable name for where your uh, all the directories that your path is pointing towards, and the dollar sign means it's a variable. Uh, if I go ahead and hit enter, you can see that my path is quite long. But what's important is that these colons are separating each new directory that I'm pointing my path toward. So, for example, if part of my path has this slash users, slash Andrew Yon, slash Abin, and I just type in what's in there, I see all of the AFNI commands. You see 2,3D, SUMA, and so on. If I look at this again, I also see something pointing towards the FSL binaries. I have both FSL and AFNI installed on this machine. So slash user slash local slash FSL slash bin. Okay, if I go ahead and look at what's in there, I see all the FSL commands such as FSL info, FSL merge, and so on. All right, so where this becomes important is when you um, are instructed to insert it into a startup script. So, Going back a couple of tutorials, uh, one of the options of ls is the dash a option. And that lists all directories and all files in a given directory. Okay, <clears throat> no matter whether they're visible or what's also called hidden, because some files are considered more sensitive and aren't as available to modification. They have a dot in front of them. All right, so in this case, this dot cshrc that's a startup script, so whenever you start up a new terminal or also what's called a new shell, um, there are different shells like T shell, C shell, the bash shell, which all have different nomenclatures associated with them. All right, so if I go into the CSHRC, if I edit it with something like gedit, and you can download this online. Let's give it a second to open up here. Okay, so in this .cshrc file, uh, you see some commands that I've set up there, some things that I want to have automatically run whenever I start a new session. And here is something you would see on the FSL website. They tell you to copy this into your startup script. And you can see that uh, and the important part here is they are redefining the path variable to point towards the FSL binaries, which are located here. Okay, and this is just the syntax for adding this all to your path variable. Then this source command will, will source or execute a script, which is located in this uh, slash etc slash fsl configuration, uh, this fsl.csh file, which does a lot of the uh, initialization of a lot of the fsl variables. So to just take a step back, what it does is it sets this path and close without saving. And it will allow you to run any FSL command from any directory. That's what setting the path does. This makes it easier so that you don't have to go into the directory containing the commands or binaries or executables in order to run them. Okay, so just let me repeat one more time. Setting the path variable allows you to execute every command and the directory your path is pointing toward from any directory within your shell. Okay? So, that's really just to give you an idea of what the path does. Again, you don't need to know too much about it. You can just copy and paste what they have on the FSL or AFNI websites into one of your startup scripts like .cshrc, or if you're using bash, the bash shell, you can also create something called the .bash 
bash RC startup script. But we're not going to get into that right now. So after you've done that and you've copied everything you need to and you've followed all the installation instructions, you would then type in the command source and then the name of your startup file. This is, does the same thing as it would if you generated a new uh, terminal window, for example, or a new shell. It does the exact same thing. This just makes it easier so I don't need to exit out of this shell and create a new one. So if I type in source and .cshrc, which is my T shell startup file or C shell startup file, you can see that it points towards all these, uh, first of all, it sets the path to all those different uh, executable directories that I briefly went over a few minutes ago. And we'll also generate these new variables such as FSL underscore DIR, which point towards uh, certain directory locations. So that's a very brief overview of what the path um, uh, variable does. It's, it's an important thing to learn and to manipulate if you want to do some more sophisticated things with Unix, but this is just a very conceptual overview so you know what's going on when you follow those instructions in FSO or AFNI.